Retro Hunter K here coming at you with another awesome video. So this video here, I actually wanted to get your guys' opinion, your guys' help on this. So last weekend, uh, GameStop has a fit, extra 50% trading credit. Plus, if you have the power uh, membership rewards, you get an extra 10%. So I really took advantage of that. I took in basically all the Mario, the Zeldas, mostly for the Nintendo DS, the 3DS, and the Wii. And as you guys know me, I pick up tons tons of those, so I have it laying around, so I went and just took advantage of that. So how I figure it out is I went on, you know, one of those apps that they have on uh, GameStop, punch in the game and see what the price comes out to, and it looks like it's about the same as price charting on most of these. And, um... I believe I traded in around, I want to say, 30 games total. Um, and as you guys know, GameStop, they don't care about complete. Uh, so what happened, I kept all the case, kept all the manual, and just uh, bring the loose DS uh, cart and this only. So that is pretty awesome because I know in terms of those cases, I can either trade with it, sell it, or keep it. So anytime I run into a loose cart or, or, or CDs, uh, games, I have it complete which is pretty awesome. So pretty much these are all loose and I got it for full price if I would have just sell this on eBay or Amazon or anywhere locally. So very excited. So uh, as you guys probably know on the title, you know, I got $760 in uh, trading credit. So there you go. So you know that morning of uh, on Saturday, what I did is I grabbed a whole bunch of things together that I know is gonna bring me back a lot of good credits. I went to uh, my local GameStop and I did a trade and let me just show you real quick I don't know if you can see that but this is the first one right here and this one right here gives me a total of four hundred and uh, four hundred and seventy two dollars as you can see there so four hundred seventy two dollar trading credit and then later that day I went home and you know look around and see if I have any other stuff any doubles any extra that I have lying around and I went back and I trade for an extra right there $288 in trade credit so that's pretty awesome there so total you know around 760 so pretty awesome there and as you guys know not only you know at GameStop they sell gift cards actually not just like game cards or gift cards for the store they sell gas card amazon card uh restaurant food safeway subway uh and also they sell ebay gift cards so what happened is that i took these two cards right here and i basically turn it into ebay cards all right so i convert the full amount uh onto these two cards here which give me a total of 760 dollars and man i don't know how to tell you but that night i slept well I had uh, I had a great night pretty much uh, sleeping thinking of what to buy on eBay what I need to add to my collection and um, I don't know if you guys know but I'm going for the complete Super Nintendo uh, doesn't matter if it's complete in box or not but I preferably uh, want complete in box but I know that's kind of impossible or not impossible but it's gonna be really challenging so um, I put a list together of some of the stuff because I just can thinking and thinking and I don't really know what to spend you know it's like one of those things where you have too many options you tend to just you know uh, take longer and don't look un be undecisive sometimes so I basically went on price charting and I put loose from the high price to lower so here are basically some of the one from high to low that I do not have in my collection. The other ones I already have, uh, you know, so these are some of the, the ones. Um, let me know your opinion, opinion on this. So to get a complete box, so to get a cart only, and then maybe by doing that I can save money and buy more of the loose games. Um, or if you guys have a game you guys want to recommend to me, let me know below. I would love your opinion, you know, give me some ideas. Uh, uh, so then I can be more decisive all right so here's uh, some of the lists I got here I got arrow fighters that one right there in price charting is four hundred and twenty dollars uh, I got um, Hagani 350 so these are loose uh, price charting price actually actually uh, metal uh, warriors 250 Mega Man 7 for 170 now that is the one that I, I think that I have to get 
Um, yeah, I, I've been wanting that so bad. Mega Man 7, $170. Uh, Pocky and Rocky 2 for $180. Uh, Fire Striker for $155. Super 3D Noah's Ark, $150. That's a rare one to come by. Uh, Super Terrigan 2 for $150. Uh, Space uh, Mega Force for 140. So those are more of the high range one that I, I I figure that since I have this opportunity, maybe I should knock off some of those higher end ones, and then you know the 30s, the hundred dollars and under, maybe I can find out in the wilds when I'm game hunting or or pick up. So uh, yeah, so those are pretty much you know I, what I came down to after all this thinking for like a few days now, where I did not know what to do because uh, you know. Too many options, too many things to buy. I don't know what. So, I'm going to ask for your, your advice, opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. What should I what should I spend on eBay for my Super Nintendo collection? Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Thank you very much in advance. I'll put a video together of what I got out of that $760. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.